Uh, it's not really like nicotine because nicotine is um, a substitute. I mean, you uh, put the nicotine, uh, it's what uh, gives you the, the need to, to smoke. Uh, no, we don't know exactly how it uh, works. We know that uh, this drug is a GABA B uh, agonist, and uh, um, during um, alcohol chronic consumption, uh, we have um, less GABA uh, in the in the brain, less GABA in the addiction um, system, and uh, when you give the baclofen, you reinforce. Uh, you, you give GABA, and uh, this uh, can um, um, reduce the dopamine uh, in the brain, and it reduces the craving, but we don't know exactly how. It's uh, not very known now. No, uh, in fact, uh, we are a clinical researcher and uh, we have seen a lot of very exciting uh, studies on rats in the uh, 2000s and um, new, new study, it's a clinical case uh, by Dr. Olivier Amezen, which is a Franco-American <laughs> cardiologist. Uh, we used the, the, the baclofen at high level. Mm, some some practitioners in France use the, the, the baclofen at the same high level and some others use it at a small level and a small dose. And uh, we were very excited when we, we saw these studies and we, we have worked uh, together with Cray Hospital. And now we, are, um, we begin a big um, prospective study uh, which is an open label uh, in different uh, hospitals in France. It has begin began on the March 20. Yes, it is called OBAD, and it's a, it's a large multicentric uh, open label study. We will have more information, but it's very very clinical. In fact, in France, we have two random, randomized, excuse me, randomized studies, um, which are um, finished, but we don't have the results. It's called Alpadir and Baclovine, and they have um, a lot of, of, of patients, but we don't have uh, any results for the moment. And uh, we are very happy to have uh, 100 uh, patients, but it's only two centers, and uh, we hope to have uh, maybe 500 patients in the new study we, we are uh, beginning. But you know, I think the problem is that alcohol um, doesn't um, excite people, <laughs> even if it's our daily um, work. And uh, a lot of uh, clinical practitioners don't use baclofen. It's very European and French use, but I hope it will be uh, large, uh, larger after, and we will have a big uh, cohort. No, I think uh, hepatitis C is very important, of course, but we, we see now that a uh, lot of drugs are very active and uh, we are going to treat NASH patients, you know, uh, fatty liver disease and alcoholic disease. And I think these two uh, pathology, these two, two diseases are um, joined in European uh, uh, countries and maybe also in the United States uh, because uh, we drink <laughs> and we eat too much. <laughs> and I think these are the two fields uh, of the future in hepatology. I would like that uh, the practitioner and patient uh, get interested in um, drugs like baclofen or nalmefen, another one. Um, we, have, uh, we have been using for one year because I think it's very useful for our patients and I hope that practitioner will uh, uh, focus uh, them on uh, alcohol patients because uh, we need that. <laughs> we can help them and we can cure them. <laughs>